Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaff Boy, and I am back! Finally, I am properly back. I uh, went through the Christmas and festive periods as per my last video, uh, but since then I have been in Dubai, working at the Dubai 24 hour race. Um, so, anyway, without further ado, I'm back with Farming Simulator 15. And man, have I missed it! Um, so, again, I'm not um, doing my Let's Play video uh, series because uh, it doesn't seem to be taking off as well as some of the other videos. So, unless you really want to see it, then please comment. But um, today we're going to be trying a new map that I discovered um, called Coldborough Farm. The um, reason I chose it is because it's from England and it's based on a uh, real farm, I believe, from the description which I've put into uh, this video description. So if you look uh, down below this video you'll see the full description of the map, but it's 300 acres of Herefordshire farmland. Enjoy both arable, livestock and forestry on this beautiful rolling countryside. Oops! <laughs> yeah, so you meant to click it. <laughs> Bugger. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Leave it with me. Okay, so let's try again. <laughs> Coldborough Farm, let's start. So let's have a look at this. It's a real working farm, uh, arable farm in Herefordshire of 250-300 acres. It's situated about five miles outside the picturesque market town of ross on Y. The farm has stunning scenic views, which I have tried to replicate in this. This map works best with small to medium machinery. That's good, because I'm... I mean, the, the big machinery is cool and, and all of that, but it does get a bit tedious trying to do massive fields all the time. So, there are two farms. First, the Colbra farm is for arable farming. Your grain storage is located here. The second, Chantry farm, is the livestock farm. There are bale straw cell points at both farms. You have 18 fields to grow crops in two forests and several grass fields. Seed and fertilizer refill points are located throughout the map. I grew up on this farm and had the pleasure of working on it for many years. That's pretty cool. Um, background for the guy who modded this, or the team that modded this. I've wanted to make a version of it, the farming simulator, for a long time and have tried to make it as close to the real thing as possible while still including aspects of the game itself. Hope you enjoy playing on this farm. So do I. <coughs> Uh, right, so, it, whoa, right, I think we're, I think we're in, but it already looks a lot more like a real farm rather than the Bjorn home places, so what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to go to the shop and have a look in the garage to see what I've got, so I've got two or three tractors, We've got a front loader, we've got a fork, got a reasonable sized combine, that's cool. Uh, we've got a cultivator, a plow, a cedar, uh, a mower, a forage truck, a forage mixer, a tedder, a wind rower, fertilizer, slurry spreader, baler, weights, chainsaw, Cows, how many cows are we? 50 cows, sheep, and a pressure washer. That's cool. So, let's have a look at this. Ah, okay, number one is Chantry Field, Blacksmith Field, Perry Stone Hill, Little Meadow, Hop Yard. Mm. Chantry Farm Vehicle Shop. I stand. Oops. Right, so I've got my combine in here. Check it out. This is mega. What else we got? So here's my tractor. It's out with all of this. It's a cool farm. It looks real, doesn't it? This is mega. This looks for all you people who are viewing in another country other than England, this is what an English farm looks like. This guy has got it absolutely spot on. Another tractor. Oh, it's lagging a bit, but again, my mouse speed is too low, but I hate it being too fast, so. What else got parked? Colonel Wilson, your local class dealer. Ah. That's pretty cool. 
cool. And we're back to the gun mine. So, let's have a look again at what we've got. One, two, three. Some S and T says S is seed refill. T is timber forest. Ah, okay. G is fuel tanks and F is fertilizer refill. So let's just go on a quick explore from the farm. So we're gonna have a look at some of these fields. How do you get through Ah that's cool? So, if I do this... No, that's not what I meant. What did I mean? I've forgotten the button. I haven't played it in that long. Hmm. I should show you what type of crop you've got. And I've forgotten what it is. What's the button? <laughs> How have I forgotten this? I'm sure it was escape. Hmm. Oh well. So that looks like corn, I guess. Uh, in field four. So down into a bigger field two. So I think what we're going to do then is get the combine over here field two. Let's start low. That's the wrong way. Once I've got this guy going, I'm going to go on a bit of an explore for you, because obviously we don't just want to go straight into it, but I want to get something going, so I feel like I mean, but oh my god. This is mega. I think the attention to detail is awesome. Obviously, I've never been to this field. But look at that. It looks like an English field. Rolling hills. Little hedgerows. Trees. Beautiful. Right. Unfold the harvester. So... How is this going to work then with hiring a worker? Okay. She's got some wheat on the go. Let's go on and explore. So I'm going to go over to one, I think. So I want to go right, because that's all fields. So I've got a little house down here. Very nice. Wow. This is bloody impressive, I have to say. Bloody impressive. So, right. So if we go right, let's head up towards the cattle farming, left-hand side of the road for English at this is bloody cool. This is... Um, I'm staggered at how good this is. I, it feels like I'm driving around in the UK. I'm going to park my tractor here for a cool... Um, for a cool uh, screenshot for the video. Anyway, I, I digress. So, let's go and have a look over here at number one. So, I guess over here we've got what looks like spuds, could be, could be potatoes. 
I'm going to carry on going over to where the livestock farm is, if I can. Left-hand side of the road in England. So used to driving on the right on this. So here's Chantry Farm. So this is the livestock farm, it would seem. This is cool. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's incredible how good this is. Some more kit. Water, fertilizer, seeds. Chicken! Don't kill it. Hay bales. Oh yes, this is mega. So this is livestock area. Let's go out of here. Whoa. Where else is this? Have a look at. So the rest just seems to be fields, I think. But look, I'm going to drive generally in this direction and see where we get to. keep going. Oh, we go off the map there. Whoa. So I'm going to go back past the farm and let's go and have a look at the Timber forest over on the right hand side of there. We've got Cobra Farm, so that's my arable, and then we've got Chantry, which is the livestock. I feel like as I'm playing a simulator, I should stop at these. Yes! Hereford, I know these places, it's mental having this in a game. Mental. It's the coolest thing I've seen since this game came out. These are some big fields. I hope that like um, machines don't get stuck on this. Oh, I've, I'm going the wrong way, but hey! I'm going to go all, all the way around field 17. Make it even more realistic. Check me out! Country lanes of Britain in my tractor. This is sick, bruh! Obviously, nobody who doesn't like farming will think, oh, that's annoying. Flick it in this way. Right, we're in this field. You can see where I can get out. I'm not sure where I can, or if I can. There's a gate. I see one. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Already, I'm going to say, get it. Get the map, which I will put a link for in uh, the description because you all deserve to have this. Uh, where am I going? Right. It's so realistic, it almost combines uh, Euro Truck Simulator and this. What I don't know is if, because all of these fields have got crops, oh god, got all the crops in already, so I don't know if they wither. I would guess they don't, because otherwise they'll all wither, because we obviously don't have time to do them all. This is so cool. So we're in the timber forest now. Let's go towards the T, see what's up here. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, yes, there's a lot of timber here to be uh, done. But, you can already see the problem. As we all know, my pet hate of rolling logs. Jesus Christ. I'm a pro me. Nailed it. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Aha, this is what I was looking for. So here we go, guys. We have cold grub wood in the heart of Herefordshire. Timber falling ahead. Lots of warning signs. That's Great Britain for you. Health and safety. So this is where I'll come at some point to do my forestering. So right, let's have another let's have a closer look around here. That's where we have the chickens. I need to brush up on my uh, livestock tending skills because yeah, I can't remember how to do it from Farming Simulator 13 in such a long time. I found it very labor intensive, which I guess it is on here, which is no biggie. where the cows are kept all oh, that jazz this is cool as hell quaint little cottage farm cottage uh, I'm Again, I am blown away at how good this is. Well, he's gone the wrong way, for a start. So let's get this guy going again. He hasn't got very far. Brilliant. So what I might do is, um, I might start playing this. I'll start scoping it out a bit, because as I said, my livestock skills are definitely... Livestock skills, bow hunting skills, uh, are not up to scratch, so... No, 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 no. Well, let's try this way then, if that's going to be a problem. Oh, doesn't like field shapes like that. There is a limiting factor so far. But I mean, who cares that you got can be worked around. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now, just because I want to have a look around. And number 15, big field. 16 park field, 17 islands. Ah, oh, we haven't been down to that place. So forgive me, I'm not going to leave it there at all. Uh, we need to go left pretty much but what I'm going to do excuse me naughty oh god Jesus <laughs> a bit a bit pushy aren't they where does this go let's go exploring I mean obviously I know because it's my farm so it's like I've inherited it from my father when I was 21 but I've never actually been on it. <coughs> what we got up here then? A uh, building. Oh. Invisible wall. <coughs> Ignore that. Didn't see that. <coughs> anyway, let's go over to the biomass plant. See what that place is like. Um, this is, I keep saying it, this is, this adds hours and hours of gameplay to this if you're getting bored of Bjornholm or Westbridge Hills, which I'm sure you are now, the game's been out a while, sorry, simulator, it's been out a while, so this changes everything because it's a whole new different style of map, it's not just rectangular fields, it's a lot quainter, it's not so much on how big of the machinery you can get is. 
if we just keep going down here in this direction, should be pretty good. So weird that this is actually in England because I can imagine it. I can imagine that I'm there. You can tell it's based on an actual farm. And just the views. You don't need to come to England on holiday now. You can just have a look at this place. There's another little complex in there. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. Is this my house? Hello. Picking up my babes. Sup, babe? I'm here in my tractor. <laughs> Another little house there. Keep going this way. More spuds, I reckon, over there. Sounds about right. King Alfred's spuds. Right, looks like we're coming into the town, in inverted commas. So let's have a look one by one. So what looks like another house. We've got the big class dealer. So let's have a look in here. I know it sounds stupid, but let's see what they sell. So this is cool. <laughs> so does that have any bearing on what's in here? I guess it doesn't. No, because it doesn't even have a class combine. Disappointing. <laughs> uh, right, let's so carry on. Beacons on. Right. So this is the bioenergy store. So wood cell point. See, look at this. Look, this is. It looks so realistic, I can't get my head around it. I want to shake this guy's hand and buy him a beer because this is. or a cider, more likely, if he's a farmer. Uh, wood selling point. So it makes it look like it's a working area and where things get sold. I know that sounds stupid. But that's where you sell eggs. That's where you get your money out. That's where you drop off ooh, that's where you drop off your grain, I guess, is it? Fliegel Biomass Center. Blue Jacket Dairy. So that's the dairy farm. Mega. This is awesome. It's mind-bendingly good. Wish you could zoom. Can you zoom on this? In any way. Hmm. So the trouble is, all the things in the bottom right, so the Cobra Farm, Shanty Farm, Vehicle Shop, they're all covered underneath icons. Which is slightly annoying, but I think I've pretty much got it. You sell your wood there. You can drop off your seed there. It's mega. Absolutely mega. And I am going to play this to death. So, well, I hope you enjoyed my first look at this map. I will be doing some more videos on this map because it's incredible. I'm going get, to get to grips with it a little bit with the different types of fields and all of the different crops and the livestock and stuff. So give me a little while and I will get down to it but if you like this please like the video subscribe for more of this Cobra, Cobra um, Cold Borough map gameplay and um, all of the links will be in the uh, description but until next time we'll see you later bye bye